You're watching a Nova Science Now video podcast. In an election year, people might disagree about who makes the best candidate, but you don't hear much argument on the merits of democracy, that millions of average people can together make a wise decision. It wasn't always so. In the early 20th century, this controversial Englishman, Sir Francis Galton, tried to statistically test whether mobs of common folk were capable of choosing well. And as our musical correspondent, Rob Morseberger tells us, what Sir Francis actually found was that, mathematically at least, there's often wisdom in a crowd. Sir Francis Galton was a nobleman and scorned the common masses. He thought that votes of governance should be left to higher classes. He'd prove with all the data from a contest inescapable of guessing even simple things the commoners were incapable. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. What kind of contest might it be? Guess the ox is white and see. Guess the weight correctly and win a prize. It's 100. Said a little one. That's much too light. At least a ton. An eager crowd queued up to play. 800 made a guess that day. So we had 800 data points. And now the ox is white is exactly... 1198 pounds. There are no winners. Sir Francis knew the rabble would never guess the weight. How might they judge important things if left to meet that fate? With mathematics, he would show how far they went astray. But in the end, his theory was in total disarray. Because a curve of all the guesses... Oh, that curve? It's the cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution. Sorry, that's what it's called. <laughs> because graphing all the guesses and determining their mean... I think he was talking about the median and determining their median. He showed that if the crowd were one, its estimate is key. He showed that if the crowd were one, its estimate is key. Keen, yes. That's because while no individual guessed the actual weight, the average of all the guesses is exactly right. The average will generally be better than a randomly selected individual guess. The average of the masses assures us of success. I think he was talking about the median. And the larger the number of guesses we toss in, the more likely we are to get the right answer about the oxen. His premature prognostication they cannot help but scoff. Galton should have gathered more data before he went shooting his mouth off. Yeah. Sir Francis's hypothesis was rocked by ignoramuses. He lost the proof he had about. He found the wisdom of the crowds. If you have a group of people and they each have tiny bits of information, then you can learn a lot if we could just gather all of those bits together. It's just like Wikipedia. Well, this isn't exactly like Wikipedia, no. It's a little bit different. It could maybe be Wikipedia. Now, you don't even need to be an expert, but if you know something, then you're able to contribute, and that entry is able to be that much more informed. Another sample of this fair? Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> yeah, the audience lifeline. If a person feels like they can't answer the question by themselves, ask the audience. The audience is right over 90% of the time. There you go. How about that, Gelman? The wrong Gelman. Sorry. One by one, we're not too smart, but every guess it plays its part. And when you add them up, you'll find the wisdom of the crowd. For more fun science stories, watch the new season of Nova Science Now, Wednesday nights starting June 25th on PBS. Or join us online at pbs.org slash nova slash science now.